Ah, greetings, fellow member of the Horde. My name is Lord Famar Faran, and I humbly serve as Regent Lord of the Blood Hopes. Lord Famar will lead us to glory, citizen. As you can see, Quofalos is reborn and flourishing after all these years of hard work. And best of all, we are a free society where every member is valued. Listen to me, everyone. Joining the Horde was a mistake. We have abandoned our true allies for... These guys speak treason! Don't you see that we stand on the brink of destruction? That the Magisters are traitors who are lying to us? Lord from our must hear us, we... has remade Silvermoon into something we may truly be proud of. So, uh, why do you still have the statues of Kael'thas around? Prince Kael'thas... Error, error. Lord Fermar will lead us to glory, citizen. Mm, don't worry about it. The Blood Elves have proven their commitment and dedication to the Horde time and again, citizen. Not only that, but you need only look around to see the prosperity of Quelphalos renewed through our hard work. So, uh, why have you only taken back half the city then, and only half the country? Prince Kael'thas will error, error. <laughs> And speaking of him, why do you still have the gigantic murals of Kil'jaeden he painted in the sun well when he tried to take it over? He painted those things in what, like, a week or so? But after all these years you just throw a banner on them and call it a day? Excuse me, citizen, but I'd like a moment of your time. It is a serious offense to show disrespect to Prince Kael. Error, error. I'm sorry, but the War Chief is too busy to see anyone at the moment. Oh, but I can imagine why you're here. I'm sure you want to proclaim your undying love for her in person. Oh, isn't she just the most benevolent, kind and wise leader there ever was? Not to mention... Well, is it any wonder Navano serves her so loyally? Ooh. Oh. Uh. What about the burning of Teldrassil? Oh, the Nidos had it coming, don't worry about it. Gilneus, they were neutral when the Forsaken invaded. Those filthy dogs were savages and you know it. Also, that was arguably Garrosh's decision. What about killing the Forsaken at the gathering back in before the storm, even the ones who were trying to come back? They had it coming too. You can't second guess being a Forsaken. That's just wrong. What about a new plague? Hey, it's legal now that our great Dark Lady is War Chief, so you can't complain about it. What about raising people back from the dead against their will and... I've had enough of this. How dare you stand here accusing the Banshee Queen like she was some kind of common criminal. Get out of my sight before things get ugly. Look, I'm just saying that... Look kid, you guys had your chance to get rid of me back on the Lost Tiles, but for no good reason really you didn't. Now I control all of the Horde's finances and war funds. You mess with me, and the whole Horde goes boom. You got that? Now. Buy my book and scram, you little punk. I've got a swimming pool made of gold waiting for me. Well, now that Sarfang's in an Alliance prison, who's going to be our new leader? Guys, wait a minute, isn't this kind of counterintuitive? I mean, orc society is based on clans of their own chieftains, it's not some sort of unified autonomous blob within the Horde like the Torn or the Blood Elves. It, it made sense to have a big universal leader of the orcs when the war chief of the horde was an orc, but having one now seems kind of like ignoring some of the basics of our culture, you know? 
I mean, uh, it makes sense for, say, the Tor to have the leader since uh, their leader is always the chieftain of the Bloodhoof tribe, but us orcs don't have a system like that re in place, really. Nah, don't worry about it. Well, let's just look at the orcs who are at the Undercity throne room PvP event thing in Legion and see who's suitable. Yeah, makes I sense. Idea. Mm, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that sure. Makes sense. Mm, well, there's Thrall, Nazgrill, Drekfar, and Rexar. Reasonable so far. Yup, they all seem suitable. Then there's the Warsong Gulch Battlemaster and Gorfax Angerfang. A guy only three people have ever heard of before. And two of those three people are Alliance, since he's a quest target for the Alliance in the Wetlands. Well, I think we can count on Gorfax Angerfang to represent our interests properly. I don't know, the Warsong Gulch Battlemaster seems like a solid choice for me. Oh, uh, hello, hello. Finally, I'm so happy to finally have a visitor. W well, you know that I had that one cameo in a good war, and you know I was technically imported in war crimes, eh? Eh? Oh, and also, I no longer make lewd comments at you if you are a female character like I did in the Mists of Pandaria beta. I'm reformed now. <laughs> uh, so, w what can I do for you, fellow member of the Horde? Oh, uh, I was just checking if they changed your on-click quotes for Battle for Azeroth. I guess they still aren't going to give you anything to do, huh? Well, see you. I am Bane, High Chieftain of the Tauren, and I will always stand for the integrity and honor of the Horde. I will oppose any war chief who threatens that, no matter the danger. Well, now that we have beaten the Grim Totem and Retake and Thunder Bluff, we really ought to ask Garrosh for the Horde's protection again. You know that your father died because of him, right? Yes. And that we managed to retake our lands just fine without his help. I have to keep my people safe. Garrosh ordered that Vol'jin be assassinated? Well, um, uh, I guess I'd better stay on his good side then, yep. Well, now that Vol'jin started a gigantic rebellion, one that's even supported by the Alliance, I guess it would be a safe time to do something myself. Hey Vol'jin, I was just on my way to take down Garrosh. Funny seeing you here. Uh, of course, mighty war chief. I will no longer communicate with Anduin Rin. I swear to be forever loyal. But her plan is clearly without honor, Bane, and she abandoned Saurfang to die. I cannot risk the safety of my people. For the Horde. <laughs> I gonna be the leader of the Dark Spears now. No, I gonna be the leader. No, I gonna be the leader. I gonna be the leader, man. Uh, guys? Uh, you know that Vol'jin actually had a wife and children in the lore, right? Uh, and, and I think a hereditary system of leadership has served us well in the past. I mean... Vol'jin was the son of Senjin, and he became chieftain when he was a teenager, and he led us well. Uh, so, you know, I think that... <laughs> no, I gonna be the new leader of the Dark Spears. No, I gonna be the new leader. No, I gonna be the leader. I gonna be the leader, man. No, I gonna be the...